So welcome back to um, class. This will be lesson two. Um, this evening we're going to kind of talk about positive and negative numbers a little bit more. Uh, just continue to build some of our vocabulary. Uh, I want to introduce what's called a zero pair. It's, it's kind of an important little piece in play with some of the positive and negative numbers. Uh, so what we have is, let me modify here a little bit. So opposites added together are called a zero pair. Now, this word opposite. Opposites for us in math is basically a number that is the same distance from zero as the other number. For instance, five, if you look at five, five has a distance of one, two, three, four, five units from five, from zero. So five is actually five units from zero. Notice that negative five is also five units from zero, just in another direction. Again, we call this a positive direction, we call this a negative direction, but essentially you still move the same amount, just a different direction. When you do this, we call this a zero pair when you add them together. So negative five, I'm sorry, five and a negative five, that's actually going to end up equaling zero. For just like, for instance, if you think of money, $5 of income, and if you have $5 of debt, and again, debt would be like a negative number, so $5 of income and $5 of debt, if you put those together, they're going to just zero each other out, or cancel each other out. So we call that a zero pair when you add opposites. So when I see a negative 12 and a positive 12, notice that 12 is over here on this side of the zero. Meanwhile, negative 12 is way over here on this side of zero. But again, they're the same distance from zero, so we, therefore we call those opposites. So when you add these opposites together, what they end up doing is being a zero. And that's why we call it a zero pair. So if you add opposites, they will always add to zero. And again, we call that a zero pair. So when it comes to this, this three-fourths and this negative three-fourths, notice how we're adding those two numbers together and they're different in sign. Therefore, we call those a zero pair, and that would end up equaling zero. So when I have a, I can even apply this to like letters, x and a negative x. We would call these a zero pair. So whatever x is and you add the opposite of that x, that's actually going to end up zero and well. So this type of concept can actually be applied to variable math. So if I have 3.2 plus a negative 3.2, again, those are opposites. And since they're added together, they end up equaling zero. So that's a quick lesson for you on the zero pair.